What are some deeply unsettling facts that you know? If a hamster manages to get its hands on your body if you are dead, it will use chunks of your skin, hair and other stuff to make a nest. Leaving a very bloody and messy scene behind. I missed the if there and thought they would somehow kill me lol. In 1933, a doctor named Carl Tanzler raided the tomb of a female patient with whom he'd become obsessed and stole her body. He lived with the corpse for seven years. As the body fell apart, he attached the corpse's bones together with wire and coat hangers, and fitted the face with glass eyes. He was only caught when someone saw him dancing with the corpse in front of an open window. Hey, how about we ditch this musty-looking mausoleum and head back to my place? All whales eventually lose the energy to surface for oxygen, so they basically just sink and drown. These are known as whale falls. A whale will fall down to the ocean depth, its carcass creating a transitional ecosystem for the critters below. It's a rich ecosystem. New species of marine life have been discovered by observing these whale falls. It's a great example of the circle of life. Video of whale fall, link. 21-year-old girl from South Carolina had a psychotic episode after using meth, pulled both of her eyes out and crushed them in her hands because she thought she needed to in order to save the world. I believe people saw it happen. Edit, typo. After the bombing of Hiroshima, black rain, that contained radioactive material fell, and many didn't realize it until it was too late. Also, according to my Japanese professor, they didn't even have a word for the atomic bomb at the time. I unfortunately can't remember what she said they called it instead. They called it Pika Don IIRC, Lightning Thunder. Paradoxical undressing. It happens during the last stages of hypothermia. As your nerves are damaged, the person removes all of their clothing in freezing temperatures because they feel irrationally hot. People will also sometimes attempt to dig into the ground in the final stages, terminal burrowing. Tumors can grow teeth. Yep, they're called teratomas, and can even form hair, skin, some cases report eyes, and one that I heard developed brain cells. Really creepy. Veteran criminals in the gulags would recruit naive prisoners for their escape attempts called, cows, for the sole purpose of eating them when they ran out of food in the Siberian wilderness. Also known as walking supply. Source. Walking supply. Link. Cadmium poisoning is so horrible the name in Japanese literally translates to it hurt it hurts. Cadmium poisoning can cause your bones to literally soften. Also it can cause kidney, lung disease, chills, muscle aches, hair loss, and fever. As a teenager used to take stuff apart a lot, still do, but now I know what I'm doing. Once opened up a very old TV we found and kept going until I pulled out the phosphor screen, which evidently contains cadmium. The coating had dry rotted or something and promptly turned to a fine dust and flew everywhere. My friend who was helping me was fine. I on the other hand fell ill the next day with cadmium blues. Imagine the worst flu you've ever had, times 10, and it feels like your blood has broken glass in it. I recovered in about two weeks and the general consensus is I shouldn't have any long-term effects since it was only acute exposure, but holy poo people, avoid cadmium. In the Battle of Verdun, over a million artillery shells were fired onto a 19-mile-wide stretch of land in the first 12 hours. If you were lucky enough to survive until then, the sound alone was enough to drive you insane. Greater than of the 800,000 casualties at Verdun, an estimated 70% were caused by artillery. The Germans launched 2 million shells during their opening bombardment, more than in any engagement in history to that point, and the two sides eventually fired between 40 and 60 million shells over the next 10 months. That's insane. Edit, source, link. EDIT2, pasting from question below. According to the source I found, here is what that adds up to. Battle dates February 21, 1916 to December 18, 1916 equals 301 days or 7,224 hours. Opening bombardment of 2M shells followed by 40M60M fired by both sides throughout the war equals 52 million shells estimated. 173,000 shells fired per day on average. 7,198 shells per hour. 120 shells per minute. I'm not very knowledgeable on the subject, but I'd assume these are fired in waves, which makes those numbers so much worse. I'm picturing waves of non-stop bombings followed by silence then more waves. Link. Mummy Brown is a paint hue partially made up of ground-up Egyptian mummies. There are paintings made of dead people. Adding on to this, 
Besides mummy brown or Egyptian brown, we used to eat mummies because of their supposed medical properties. That's why there are so few of them left. An injury to the brain can turn you into a completely different person, as well as removing your ability to comprehend that it did. It doesn't even have to be a particularly bad one either, it just has to hit the right part of your brain. I was thinking about Michael Schumacher recently and this came to mind. My dad had brain surgery for a tumor and his personality changed immediately. He lost all his social rules and became the friendly, joking, gregarious salesman he'd always been at work, but without any of the depth of personality. He remembered everything, and still did research for almost a year after that, but his social rules and any kind of deep personality were just gone. Doctor called it compensating for the loss by filling in with the salesman bullpoo, and that's a very salesman thing to do, I've been in sales for 35 years and know the drill. It was hard on mom to take care of him because as she said, this is not my husband, this is the salesman people see when he's away from me, Pooh eventually went to more normal brain cancer sickness and he eventually passed after a year. It was so weird to watch and know that there was a whole part of him that the surgeon scooped out that day. The astonishing fatality rates that can be found in so many battles in the First World War weren't accidents or unfortunate byproducts of the technology, they were factored into the battle plans. By the nature of attritional warfare it was calculated how many men would be lost every week and commanders drew up enough reinforcements to replace them. This was called normal wastage. I remember reading about the German planet Verdun. The idea was to attack a target the French couldn't afford to abandon and force them to throw more and more men into the neat grinder to hopefully deplete the French army. It almost worked too some regiments of the French army reported an over 100% casualty rate. Edit, I'm gonna chuck this here since so many people are asking. It's possible for the casualty rate to be over 100% because when men die or become wounded they get replaced to keep the unit at full strength and if those men become casualties as well it's possible for a unit of say 1000 men to suffer 1200 casualties over a particularly long and bloody battle like Verdun. Japan did some horrible experiments on people during WW2 Unit 731. Vivisection, shattering people's frostbitten limbs, biological warfare, etc. It's all quite horrific and don't recommend anyone without a stomach for horror to read about it. Also, after the war, the people who ran it were never tried as war criminals because the US decided to keep them and their research under wraps so that they could get a hand up on the Soviets. Fun fact, in China today, where these experiments happened, when a room is messy instead of saying it looks like a pigsty, they'll say it looks like the Japanese invaded. X. Parents to child, clean your room. It looks like the Japanese invaded in here. In extreme cases of scurvy, your scars break down and old wounds reopen. Collagen keeps scars together and that collagen maintains itself throughout our lives. But without vitamin C, that process begins to halt and the collagen breaks down. Eat your fruits and veggies folks. The weirdest thing about scurvy is how it's showing up in well-off people. Some modern diets cut out all fruits and vegetables, leading to very low vitamin C people then start getting weird symptoms, like bleeding gums. My best friend of 20 years turned out to be a child molester and none of us knew until my other friend's daughter came forward having been a victim. Found that out months ago. Still not okay. Now none of my friends talk. Update. I have to go through everyone's comments but it sounds like we all are fed up. All we can do is try to break the cycles of abuse. I was abused too at one point in my life much like my friend who did this. But that's no excuse to perpetuate the cycle of abuse. It might be a good idea to talk again as like a damn support group damn. Not to pretend I know what y'all are going through. They used to not use anesthesia on babies when they would do surgery. When I was a toddler, three years, in the early 80s I tripped and fell which required 11 stitches in my chin. In the ER they strapped me down and did all 11 stitches with no anesthesia. I remember that poo like it was yesterday. So painful and I was screaming at the top of my lungs. My poor mother couldn't be in the room. Edit, I'm reading all your stories and I just want to give y'all a big internet hug. Also, shout out to the parents and people who took us to the ER bloody and injured. As a parent I couldn't even imagine dealing with some of these experiences. The world's most prolific living serial killer is a man called Pedro Lopez. He was convicted of the killing of 110 girls. But he claims he has RPD and murdered over 300. His current whereabouts are unknown. 
Link. There's a rumor that the family members of his victims tracked him down after his release and killed him, but that's never been confirmed. In the 1800s a lot of dentures were made using the teeth of dead soldiers. People used to scavenge battlefields pulling the teeth from the dead. After the Battle of Waterloo it was advertised that the teeth were from the battle like it was a novelty. And IIRC there were so many teeth available after Waterloo that scavenging for teeth was no longer profitable for those in Europe anyways. The symptoms for a heart attack can be a lot milder than what is shown in movies or TV shows. I have seen people coming in with some discomfort and then passing due to a massive infarction when we did the angiogram. Quite a few years ago. My grandma took my grandpa to see his the GP and while at his appointment the doctor noticed the symptoms of a heart attack on my grandma. The doctor had her sent to the ER. She had a massive heart attack and she said she only felt a mildly nauseous. She's most likely only alive because the GP used to be a cardiothoracic surgeon but gave it up to be a small town doctor. Terminal lucidity is the return of mental clarity or memory or consciousness shortly before death. This happens to around 10% of people with dementia. Colon opening square bracket. My grandma was in a care facility for the last year of her life, due to dementia. My uncle and mom have a bad relationship and were arguing in her room over what needed to be done for her and she yelled at them in the most conscious manner, Chuck. Heidi, stop fighting this instant. And then passed right there. She didn't recognize any of us for weeks before this. Good to know why that happened. Link. A convicted rapist managed to abduct an 11-year-old girl and keep her as a sex slave for 18 years, even forcing her to bear his children, all while being monitored by parole officers who remained clueless to what was going on for nearly two decades. Her kidnapping happened exactly 30 years ago today. His wife was in on the whole thing. There were Holocaust survivors that died shortly after being liberated because their body couldn't handle the increased calories when they were fed by the soldiers that freed them. This is called refeeding syndrome for anyone curious. The Matthews and the Hart bridges in Jacksonville are about to fail, the pilings in the river do not touch bottom. I'm a commercial diver and I refuse to drive on these bridges. Edit. Link here you can read terminology and bridge ratings for every bridge in Florida. On the latest report Matthews has a health index of 96 but a sufficiency rating of 44, while the Hart is 90 and 30. That's my hometown. I hate those bridges. I hate knowing that several people I love drive over those bridges on a constant basis. They're just one more thing on the list if reasons I don't like Jacksonville. When you blush so does your stomach smiley face. Edit. A lot of people keep asking it's the stomach lining that starts to blush it happens when you are nervous or embarrassed. Thank you. Weird nerve stuff. Very cool. The USA has lost six nuclear weapons that were never found. It's worth noting that nuclear weapons don't stay fresh for long without proper maintenance. A weapon that was lost decades ago couldn't detonate any more by its own. You'd have to first some of all fears it by bribing some Russian nuclear scientists to restore it to working order for you, which while possible, isn't a skill set super easy to come by for your average garden variety terrorist. The real-world process of human fertilization i.e., not in a lab, is so random that just about anything that happened differently during and after your parents having sex would have resulted in someone else, or no one, being born instead of you. It's wild to think that so many things have to line up just right for pregnancy to occur. The human body is a trip. The Junko Furuta case. Reading about it gave me nightmares. She was held captive for 44 days and basically tortured by her classmates. Some parents knew what was going on but did nothing about it. Since the criminals were juveniles at the time, they are free today. Edit. For those who haven't read it, I would honestly say that you shouldn't and don't look it up. It will do nothing but make you furious at the least and disgusted. At worst, you won't be able to forget the details. There's enough poo going around, spare yourself this one time. TW, abuse, RP. Link. Seemingly 100% healthy people with literally no reason to believe they would have any reason to, can still spontaneously drop dead. Cherish every day. Edit. Just thanking for the upvotes. The topic is just a bit grim but, glad it gets people thinking about making their time here count, perhaps. Love y'all. Heart. Had a friend who was in a Pokemon Go group chat with me who just up and died. 
We were talking about the event that was going on and he stopped responding. Everyone thought he was just busy and carried on the conversation without him. A few hours later someone in the chat said he died. Just walked into his kitchen and fell over dead. Everyone named a ho oh after him since that was his Pokemon Go buddy. It was the first time a lot of us had experienced sudden death like that, so we were all really shaken for a while. He was only in his mid-30s. Child marriage is legal either explicitly, implicitly, or through loopholes, in 48 of the 50 U.S. states. Most child marriages are an underage girl impregnated by the man they're marrying. One other thing to keep in mind is a majority of teenage mothers are impregnated by men 20 plus years old. You only know of the serial killers, murderers and rapists that get caught or want to be caught. There are lots and lots of them that are so good they don't get caught. Our lips and anus are made of the same skin type or material IDK how to say without it being weird. And connected by one really long tube, would make sense since they both ends to the same tunnel. Over 46% of ocean waste is fishing nets. And commercial fishing kills more animals in the ocean than any plastic does. IDK why this isn't talked about more. Rainbow Valley at Mount Everest is named so because of the colorful coats of dead people. The Blue Mustang statue at the Denver airport, named Blucifer by the locals, killed its creator when a piece fell and severed an artery in his leg. If weird, ghost stuff is happening, make sure your carbon monoxide detector is working. Greater than make sure your carbon monoxide detector is working. Ah yes, the Reddit classic. From 1928 to 1972 my province would sterilize people who they found to be mentally handicapped. They figured this was the ideal way to stop the spread of mental disease. Bananas are berries but strawberries are not. Dot. Okay. That was the smallest post with the most WTF factor without relying on something gruesome. Cows don't convert grass directly into protein. They have enormous colonies of bacteria in their stomachs that have population explosions when they eat grass, live, breed, die, and then the cows digest them into protein. Cows are bacteria ranches. Cowception. YouTubers who find animals in distress with the camera running usually put animals in distress to look like heroes. Source. Link other videos are at there. I was at a restaurant once and a bird flew in, smacking into a mirror and falling over. I got a napkin, picked it up, and brought it outside. It seemed shocked, but otherwise fine. I stayed with it a bit, hoping it would fly off, when this woman came over and asked what I was doing. I explained and she said, oh. Well, I'm a vet so I can take it from here. So I said okay, and gave her the bird. She then proceeded to take selfies with it. Really didn't sit right with me. My mother saw no end of disturbing things when she was a nurse, circa late 1950s to 1960s. She worked on psych wards where people got disturbing treatments, lobotomies, sleep therapy, etc. She also worked on a pediatrics ward in an area where there was pretty wild poverty and the kids were in rough shape. Awful era and living conditions way back when. What is sleep therapy? I can Google it but not sure I want to just yet. With the permafrost and tundra thawing out bacteria and other microorganisms that we know nothing about are becoming active again. Pandemic 2, Electric Bugaloo. Beagles are the most popular breed of dogs used in testing because they are the most forgiving to humans. Ow, gotta go smooch my two beagles now. In 2018 my sister was murdered. We know who did it. We keep track of where he lives, he has moved four times since my sister disappeared. The police also know he did it. There's not enough evidence to bring him in or charge him. Her body has still never been found. If I go after him he becomes the victim and I won't be able to be a father to my children. He gets to be alive every day. He's a serial rapist. We suspect my sister was not his first murder. From our interactions with state police and FBI my impression is that our situation, while a nightmare, is perhaps not as rare as you would normally assume or hope. If FBI is connected I assume he has been on the radar for a few years. Most serial killers won't ever even be noticed, never mind captured. At least not the ones that are good at it. That's something to think about. The guy that started the vaccines cause autism. Scare in the late 90s condoned and conducted child abuse as part of his fraudulent study, all in the pursuit of fabricating evidence to support his own business ventures and a class action lawsuit against MMR vaccine manufacturers. Edit. 
As many have pointed out, H. Bomberguy's recent video is outstanding. My daughter is autistic and my soon-to-be ex-in-laws have been incredibly anti-vaccine ever since her diagnosis. They wave Wakefield's paper around like gospel but I know they haven't read it because they told me it was dozens if not hundreds of pages of research, when it's only five or six pages in total. It's infuriating. H. Bomberguy's video is a good way to break down every single point that the anti-vaccine crowd likes to use. Edit 2. I should paste the link to that video here. Thanks to everyone sprinkling it through the comments. Link. Just to compound his pooty existence, IIRC, his own business venture, was actually a competing vaccine. That is correct. Former doctor, now Mr. Andrew Wakefield filed a patent for a measles vaccine before publishing his study that claimed the combined MMR, measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine should be split into individual shots. He'd hoped to make money on both his own vaccine and testing kits regarding the fake medical condition he claimed to have found. There are dogs and cats on YouTube that made more money than you and your parents working your whole life. Once symptoms start, rabies has a 100% mortality rate. Fortunately, the incubation period is several months, so get that shot ASAP. Got bit and got the shot. They really want you to get it in the first 24 hours to be most effective. If you get bit, go to her right away, it's seriously nothing you want to F with. Multiple genetic diseases, and this is extremely oversimplified so I don't give people nightmares. Glass bones, brittle bone disease, sneezing can break a bone, or bumping a counter. Basically the body can't grow strong bones at all. CPS has been called on many a parent for this disease before diagnosis. Harlequin syndrome. Very very cracked and broken skin due to what doctors believe is the body being unable to shed old skin easily. Stone man syndrome. Body overreacts to injury and instead of a bruise or sore muscle, will turn the injured area into bone. After a certain point people with this have to decide what position to be frozen in for the rest of their existence. Tree man syndrome, condition where the HPV to grow uncontrollably to the point that the skin starts looking like tree bark. Butterfly skin, you know how delicate a butterfly's wings are and how easily they can lose their wing scales. That's the skin of someone who has this. It just comes off at the slightest touch, leaving many patients to look like walking mummies and needing to be under insane amounts of sun protection. Vampire disease. Basically if someone goes out in sunlight without enough protection, their skin reacts horribly. Worse than a sunburn by at least 20x. Edit. Thank you for the awards lovely strangers. And to people who might wonder how the heck I came up with this list, well, when you do research for your own medical problems, are fascinated by our stories, and are still wondering why some of the human body glitches exist, you come across a lot. Definitely gives you a hard slap to the face and more sympathy. Especially if you meet people like these in the wild. Makes it easier to look at him as people instead of WTF the genetic lottery decided to do. Hey, uh, I have brittle bones, osteogenesis imperfecta. I broke my femur, the strongest bone in the human body, by being pushed into a bin. It effing sucks not being able to play sports with your friends or be rough with them because you know if you do you'll end up with an express trip to the hospital. So much stuff is cut off because I don't want to risk breaking something and it honestly effing sucks. Wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Edit. Thank you so much everyone for your kind words and support. I'm not gonna do any of that cringy, thanks for the awards and updates wholesome 100 strangers. Stuff, but thank you. If you want to ask a question, please feel free to. Oh I is not really a well-known condition so I have no problem with answering your questions at all. Dogs like squeaky toys because it sounds like prey that's frightened or injured. On the bright side. I've heard stories of dogs who immediately drop their squeaky toy after it squeaks and whimper and cuddle with it. Also, my dog prefers tug-of-war toys because he's an asshole who thinks everything is his. I've seen him drop everything just to take a toy from somebody else. Edit. I looked at Inbox today with a glaring red 64, and my first reaction was, holy poo. Though unlikely, it is entirely possible that the universe has already collapsed and the end of reality as we know it is propagating towards us at the speed of light. We'll never get any warning that it's coming and it could hit us at any time, annihilating the entire planet in less than a tenth of a second. I find this comforting. Almost all the water molecules you drink have been inside someone's or some animal's body and has been pissed out. Genocides are far more common than we like to admit. 
It's actually downright criminal how little we address it. Cats know when they are going to die, they go and find a small secluded place and pass away. One of my cats did the exact opposite of this and she followed me around everywhere I went in my house, to the point where I was just carrying her around with me. She later died once in her sleep while just my dad and I were home, at least we thought she had, and then woke up and finally passed when my mom came home to say goodbye to her. She was very determined to die with her people there with her. Unless you live in a fortress, your house is essentially defenseless. If someone is hell-bent on getting in, they will. Locks only keep honest people out. Oh and, Richard Chase, link. In before lockpicking lawyer. That the Chernobyl disaster, everything that happened and all of the devastation, was the result of only asterisk 5% asterisk of the nuclear material in the reactor being explosively ejected. Just 5%. The remaining 95%, 182 tons, of the nuclear material still sits in the ruins of Reactor 4, a volatile mixture of melted fuel, damaged concrete, graphite rods, zirconium cladding, sand, dust and twisted metal. The entire ruin is emitting lethal amounts of radiation, making cleaning it up next to impossible. Up until the new safe confinement went up in 2017, the only thing that could be done was to seal the open-air reactor off with a hastily constructed shield of metal. This structure lasted for over 30 years, and as it aged the risk of it collapsing due to decay was very real. If it had crumbled as it almost did in 2013, the result would have been an apocalyptic release of radioactive dust across a far larger area of Europe than the incident in 1986. And hash X200B. Edit. Wow this blew up. I'm glad I'm able to answer people's questions and give insight. This is a fascinating topic for me and one that I spent a lot of time researching and studying. Isn't the reactor warming up again for an unexplained reason? It is. Nuclear activity has been detected deep within the reactor, inaccessible to man or machine. It's indicative of some form of fission, likely caused by the nuclear material reacting due to groundwater seepage. Water tends to slow neutrons, making them more susceptible to nuclear reactions. And hash X200B. Honestly, whatever is happening deep within that ruined reactor is beyond my understanding. All I know is that the Chernobyl disaster birthed something unreal, almost like an eldritch abomination that kills anyone that gets close and it's become a full-time job for many scientists to try and make sense of what exactly is happening inside that reactor. It almost defies understanding. People with dementia just forget how to eat one day. They forget how to swallow. We don't know if they feel starvation or pain, because they're too far gone. My brother works in a dementia care facility, and they know that a patient is gonna die soon when they eventually refuse food. And we don't euthanize them. They just starve to death, and they never tell the families that. Edit. I'm so sorry to those that have lost loved ones to dementia. It's a really cruel and heartless way to die. This was my grandma's end. I hate what Alzheimer's did to her. Baby sharks are born in eggs their mother houses underscore inside underscore of her body. The first baby born eats the rest. Asterisk asterisk edit. Asterisk asterisk was recently contacted by the International Shark Association, an organization by sharks, for sharks, asking me to get more specificity before repeating facts I read in a science textbook in the third grade. I grew up in rural New Hampshire, a full 45 minutes from the ocean and had never met a shark. I will try to have more awareness around this. Asterisk asterisk for clarity, this is not all sharks. This is only sand tiger sharks. Asterisk asterisk. Asterisk asterisk edit edit. Asterisk asterisk I have just been contacted again by sand tiger sharks in the same organization asking me to clarify that asterisk asterisk sand tiger sharks are not gross, they are just metal af asterisk asterisk and that they have all enjoyed a deep sense of community in the organization, finding the brothers and sisters they never had in other shark species. Asterisk asterisk thanks for all the cake day wishes. Did not expect this post to get seen so much. Asterisk asterisk birthday cake. And that, kids, is the reason why we have no brother or sister shark in the song. Other questions? In explosions, it's not, always, flying shrapnel, it's not the fire that kills you. No, it's the pressure wave that liquefies your insides. Told to me by a buddy who was a US Army sniper. When shot by a 5.56 mm round from a rifle, the bullet tumbles entering the body, the entry wound would be but a small hole, but the internal damage is near catastrophic. I was a medic so I'll build on this a bit. 
There are three phases to an explosion, generally speaking, that can kill you. First is as you explained it and the worst for mortality. It will pulp you and you die rather quickly. That's the blast wave. Second is shrapnel. Pretty easy. Things get thrown at you fast enough to penetrate and kill. This hits second as the blast will outpace the material it throws. Yaw physics. This can be metal from a grenade, rocks from the ground, whatever. A patient I worked on actually eventually had shrapnel pulled out that was bone from the closer victim who suffered an amputation for example. Third is impact. If you get picked up, you will eventually stop. This is the most survivable but still hurts like a son of a bitch. I had another patient that survived being bounced not once, but twice. Broke a number of bones and hearing loss. These three phases are used as guidelines, at least when, how I was taught to determine possible wounds and priority of treatment. I've been out for a while now so someone may know better or training may have advanced since I was in. The USSR built a massive arsenal of nuclear weapons and then dissolved, leaving poorly paid guards behind who no longer had a USSR to hold allegiance to. This made them vulnerable to being bought off by the highest paying bidder to feed their families and a whole bunch of those nukes just vanished and no one knows where they are. The Ohm Shinrikyo cult from Japan was looking into buying a nuke from former USSR countries. There are records that they even had several bidders. It's ridiculous how dangerous this cult was, they were responsible for the Tokyo subway sarin gas attack. It killed 14 but injured thousands. If the sarin was created correctly it would have killed tens of thousands. They also had several follow-up attempts that were thwarted, but would have also killed tens of thousands. It's terrifying. In the summer of 1968, Charles Manson lived with Dennis Wilson. Yup, the Beach Boys song, Never Learn Not To Love, is actually a cover of Manson's song, Cease To Exist. Facts, link. 60% of RPS are committed by someone the victim knows. It's actually 80%, at least according to Rain. That this thread is going to end up on one of those text-to-speech YouTube, TikTok channels. It's already on BuzzFeed. Whoa. This is most traction I've ever gotten on a post. Ha ha. I was just making the joke that every week I see questions posted. Probably from BuzzFeed employees. And the comments from our fellow Reddit community are then copied and pasted. That I think is bullpoo and lazy. They are getting a ton of money from adverts users for using content that we did not agree for them to share outside of Reddit. At least people should be asked and even better compensated for their stories and comments. Murder at the hands of an intimate partner is the leading cause of death for women who are pregnant or in their first postpartum year. This has been shown true by a number of studies in US states, but is likely also true elsewhere. That we understand basically nothing about consciousness. It's all we fundamentally are and we have no idea on how it's produced, or what causes experiences to arise. The one that still disturbs me is that the sun could randomly eject something that could kill us all. Someone else probably knows the details better than me, but I read about it a bit a while back. But assuming you're talking about a coronal mass ejections I don't think it can kill all life on earth without a moment's notice but I know for sure that a large one, they have sizes, would be more than enough to destroy most of the world's power grid and show the aurora borealis worldwide. You can look into the sky and watch the pretty lights as society collapse around you. The youngest person to ever give birth was a five-year-old girl. Edit, for those that have delved a bit too deeply into this one, just a reminder that while sometimes people can be unimaginably cruel and vile, dot the world is in such a bad place. Ah, or, ah, eye bleach. Ah, tippy taps. Ah, made me smile. Currently in a Wikipedia rabbit hole inspired by your comment. Found something along similar lines. Greater than Yella Zavita Pantueva, Liza, was five years old when her 70-year-old maternal grandfather RPD and impregnated her. She had her sixth birthday several days before giving birth. Pantueva's parents did not want the obstetricians to perform a caesarean section, as it was considered dangerous at the time. She gave birth in Kharkiv, with the aid of forceps and retractors. The 3 kilograms, 6.6 pounds, 52 centimeters, 20 in, infant girl died during labor due to an early placental tear. She had been born at full term and apparently of good constitution and, according to doctors, would have survived if she had been extracted more quickly, revived, and oxygenated. After the incident, the family emigrated to Vladivostok, taking the girl's grandfather with them. 
you can't join the U.S. Army if your IQ is lower than 83. This is 10% of the population. That's what the Marines are for, s. Russia sank a number of nuclear submarines, with the reactors intact, in shallow water. Once the submarine rusts enough, high-level nuclear waste will start contaminating fairly crowded shipping lanes. One of the submarines they sunk used a liquid metal-cooled fast reactor. When water finally rusts its way into that reactor, instead of the reactor rusting, it may explode. The human male ejaculates at approximately 45 km per hour. Edit, the actual number is 44.06 km per hour. Which makes it illegal in a school zone. The one about raccoons fitting in a person's butthole. Edit, a raccoon can squeeze into hole as small as 4 inches wide and the human anus can stretch as wide as 8 inches therefore a raccoon can fit inside a human's ass. Allow me to introduce myself. Okay, I put this in another comment on IATA, but it fits better here. In Mexico, there was a case of a woman with a thyroid problem. She worked on a department store. She started to have serious abdominal pains and told her employers about it, they ignored her. She went to the bathroom and then called emergency services, who arrived but were blocked by the superiors from entering. She was pregnant and didn't knew it because of the thyroid. She was having a miscarriage on the bathroom. After she came out, she was fired. But that's not the end of it. The store ratted her out for having a miscarriage. See, where she lives, abortions are illegal, and her situation was apparently, cataloged as an abortion. She was thrown to prison, 16 years, for, involuntary manslaughter. That was 2016, and even after many protest and media coverage, the state refuses to drop the charges, and the department store hasn't taken any responsibility about their acts. Edit. So in good news, she was freed in 2019, as noted by an user after me. Edit 2. By the way, as people ask, her name is Daphne McPherson. The store is a Mexican chain named Liverpool, located in San Juan del Rio, Queretaro. The reason I didn't knew she was, thankfully, freed is my fault. The story was lost in between lots of stories that happened from then to today. Mexico is an awful place to be a woman unfortunately, so much we have typified murder against a woman as feminicide, and while abortion is a right in the capital, right-wing groups and parties have blocked this right in almost all of the other states. The conviction was overturned and she was released back in 2019. Link. Unfortunately, according to the article, she had to sell her family home, where her other children lived, in order to pay the legal fees. Half of my family is originally from Mexico. Abortion is legal in Mexico City, but this is more common in rural areas where the women are illiterate or can't speak Spanish, only speak Maya, and local police can take advantage of the situation. Waiting for the page to load, and thinking asterisk, how far will I have to scroll before I see the word prions, asterisk. Years ago I remember watching an episode of the show Monsters Inside Me where this 16-year-old kid was doing something outside and a fly flew into his eye. It only made contact for about a microsecond, but it was enough time for it to lay eggs. After they hatched they started eating his eye from the inside and he was starting to go blind until a doctor finally figured out what was wrong. Just imagine that. Getting your eye eaten from the inside and losing your sight all because a fly very briefly made contact with you. Ever since I learned about this I get really paranoid when there is a fly around my face because of the fact that this could possibly happen to me. Wait are you effing serious because like a month ago a fly literally flew into my eye. Honestly on, Darby Vanity, and other pedophiles are active on social media right now. Their social media profiles have not been taken down, even with their obvious predatory behavior. YouTube, Instagram, and other sites have no intention of protecting children from these dangerous pieces of subhuman poo. Watch your kids, people. Make sure they don't become influenced by the wrong people. Keep them safe. The number of people older than you never increases. That's been on my mind a lot actually. I'm 25 and I'm currently still below the average age of the human population. Most people alive right now are older than me. However, that number is dwindling each day and the number of people younger than me increases each day. It makes me realize how fast my life is flying by. That the Fermi paradox exists. We could be the only high intelligent beings in the universe, the only planet that has life, or we are currently way behind other civilizations that are centuries or even millennia ahead of us in technology and we don't know if they are friendly. 
not to mention everything in between and that being civilizations that are equal with us some water an alien bacterium or virus that is impossible to cure or stop with our current tech and understanding. It's even weirder that, there may be millions of civilizations out there, but the universe is so incomprehensibly vast that we might never be able to contact them and vice versa. And it's also possible that every civilization inadvertently destroys itself before interstellar space travel can be achieved. Jason Earls who played Hannah Montana's brother Jackson, John Cena, Ludacris, and C, are all the same age. Also your bones are wet. A modern update to the fact that Barbara Walters, MLK, and Anne Frank were all born the same year. I was on the USS Ronald Reagan in 2011. I worked on the flight deck. The ship responded for a humanitarian mission to Japan following the terrible tsunami. Upon arrival we detected high LVLS of radiation and thought we had an issue with the reactor on the ship. The smart PPL on board aka not me, eventually figured out that our ship was in a radioactive cloud released from Fukushima. The command staff immediately ordered all communications to our families, email, phone calls be seized. While on board we could watch major news networks on the armed forces network. No news network was reporting the nuclear issue that our government, and the Japanese government knew about. At one point the command related we were going to do a Noah's Ark type operation by docking in Japan and removing as many US military assets, families as possible, and evacuate the area. Those orders eventually got cancelled. After several days the captain gave us a chance to contact our families. Within hours it was leaked to all the major news networks what was actually going on, and that US Navy ships were contaminated. Once again communication was cut off. We were forced to sign forms that stated we received iodine prior to exposure, which was false. After about 80 days at sea no country would let us dock due to contamination. News crews were flown on board. We covered the flight deck in foam and pushed brooms, you can see the pictures on Google. The headline was us ships decontaminated. Propaganda so other countries would accept us to replenish. The VA will still not acknowledge this as radiation exposure to my knowledge. Imagine trying to trust the news after this experience. And hash X200B. Edit. Thank you everyone for the rewards and upvotes. This is the most Reddit love I have ever received. I can't keep up with all the comments so there are some things I would like to clear up. And hash X200B. 1. I would like to address my fellow Navy PPL especially the smart reactor guys. I understand the cloud LVLs and the ship's position and the TLD on your belt. What you guys aren't understanding is that on day 1 we accepted helicopters on deck from Japan for refueling that were flying around the plant. Those were the high LVLS that were initially detected on deck the air boss screamed get the F away from those helicopters, we help service those helicopter. So I understand all the you weren't a nuke just an average Joe that doesn't understand radiation comments, because I do not think you guys were aware of the helicopters. Everyone talking about River City, I know what it is an OPSEC. This was a very long River City trust me I had many River Cities and this took the cake. We also had an actual general quarters during the incident and slept with our gas masks under our pillow and hash X200B. 2. I'm not bashing the news. I'm just simply saying the worst nuclear disaster since Chernobyl was occurring, and nobody was really aware, I could have worded that better in the beginning just didn't expect this type of response nobody usually cares about my Reddit posts. And hash X200B. 3. I'm not looking for a pity party, I was not part of the lawsuit, I do not wear a tinfoil hat. I was just simply posting that a nuclear plant was having a major incident and nobody was made aware for an extended amount of time. That to me at least is a deeply unsettling fact. So, no genuine intervention to prevent illness or decent compensation to those who get sick in the future. Not surprised. Thank you for watching. We upload new videos every day, so be sure to come back for more fun. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video.